Hey Steph, it's Marcel Humphrey from flop to flip Nation .com. Uh Wanted to go in on these five questions you sent me, and uh, I'm going to get started. Uh, the first question you, you asked was, uh, tell us about yourself, where you're from, and how long you've been wholesaling, and how many deals have you done? Well, Steph, I'm from Baltimore, Maryland, born and raised. Uh, I actually have been wholesaling since 2004, so that's about seven years. Uh, I've been wholesaling almost seven years now. Um, I actually started investing in 2002, bought my first property for $850 uh, through tax sale down in Florida, you guys call it, uh, tax deed investing. Well, I started out in tax sales, bought my first property uh, for $850, sold it uh, for $25,000, and it got me hooked on real estate investing. Um, how many deals have I done? Well, this year alone, we've done over 64, well, not in 2011, 2010, we've done over 64 deals. And 2011, I'll show you my deal board. We actually are approaching, I think, over 10 deals. So this is 2011, as you see, 011. And if you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We've closed 11 deals in 2011. So far, it's February. It's March 1st, March 2nd. Uh, you'll probably get this video on March 3rd. So we've done 11 deals, and we have five deals under contract. Um, three under contract to go to settlement, and two more that we just got under contract. And it's a mix of REO properties and what I call virgin deals. But... Um, as far as how many deals have I done, we've done rehabs, we've done short sales. We're probably over 200, 200 to 230 it's deals in, a, in one in the last six, seven years. So we've done over 200 deals in the last six, seven years since we formed A Plus Neighborhood Home Buyers, APNHomeBuyers.com. That's the, uh, the company, our acquisition company. But uh, the next question, I know I'm going on a tangent. Tangent. Uh, what is your most effective strategy for finding deals? Well, before I met you, it was the Virgin Deals. Now we do a ton of REOs now that we, we know you, um, Steph. And, um, but most effective strategy for finding deals, I would have to say bandit signs. That's, I mean, for someone just starting out that doesn't have a lot of experience in marketing or doesn't have a huge market, uh, uh, marketing budget, I recommend buying $1 bandit signs. I've even seen folks take cardboard and put We Buy Houses with a phone number on the cardboard, but that has worked wonders over the last, I would say, four years uh, using bandit signs. So, bandit signs, I would say, is probably my most effective way, but it's so many. Um, not only bandit signs, I love cruising for cash. Cruising for cash, finding vacant properties. There's over 16,000 vacant properties that is that are actually documented in Baltimore City. I believe that there's over 30,000. But uh, cruising for cash, finding vacant properties, finding the owners that have abandoned the properties. I call virgin deals, deals that nobody else knows about. There are two. I know you said one, but they're my two most effective ways of finding deals. Except for the REO stuff, I mean, there are deals all over the MLS right now, all over the country. But um, those are my two uh, most effective. What is your most effective strategy for finding buyers? Mm, I don't know if I want to give that secret up, Steph. But because it's you, I'm going to do it. My most effective. And I know a lot of the flip these wholesalers are watching this video. And you're probably going to flip when you hear this. But I hate to give this out, Steph. The most effective way to find buyers, if you're just starting out, because I know you got a lot of people following on your blog that are just starting out, is to actually get on other wholesalers' buyers' lists. I'm whispering. Other wholesalers' buyers' lists. Get on their buyers' list. Get their emails. They're going to send you out properties that they're wholesaling. It's going to have an address. Okay, 
After 30, 60 days, research that property, see who bought the property. Target that neighborhood or the neighborhoods where your top wholesalers are wholesaling deals. There's a wholesaler in Baltimore. He's been wholesaling for over, there's actually two. They've been wholesaling for over 30 years. They're pretty much, they're older guys, so they're not really up to speed with internet marketing, things of that nature. So they send out all the properties that they've sold in the year. These are some of the biggest wholesalers in Baltimore, doing 100 deals plus a year, wholesaling properties. But they list all their deals on their website, the, 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 the exact address and the price that it sold at. So by combing through other wholesalers' lists, their emails, and if they have websites and they list the properties that sold, actually researching those properties through public record, finding out the, inv the investors who bought those properties, finding out their contact information, their mailing address, and their phone number, and then contacting them. That's probably my most effective, it is, my most effective way of building a real cash buyer's list. And that's what we need in this market. That was question number three. Question number four, what personality, personality traits or habits do you possess that you feel are responsible for your success? Well, I will have to say, Steph, um, I'm a go-getter. If, you, if you've seen some of my videos, I'm very passionate about what I do. I don't treat this like a job. It's something that I actually love doing. Every deal that I do is different. I mean, you probably can relate. Every deal that we do, we probably can remember. I can remember out of all those deals, if you gave me the address, I can tell you a story about the property. That's probably one of, my most, one of the most exciting things about wholesaling real estate and real estate investing in general is that every deal is different. There's a new story. There's a new situation. Whether you're structuring, structuring a deal a certain way or dealing with a motivated seller with an attitude. I mean, it's so much. I could, I could just go on and on. But other personality traits, I love to have fun. I mean, if you're not having fun doing what you do for a living, then I suggest that you try something else and actually do something else because you're going to be miserable for years and years to come. So, I mean, I guess that's my personality. Some people call me crazy. I'm just I'm just a go-getter and I have staying power. Having staying power is very important because in this business, we do have slow months, uh, sometimes more than one month, but you have to be able to stay in the game mentally and uh, eventually things are going to manifest themselves and you'll have more wins than losses. Especially if you're learning from people like Steph and myself. Um, question five, I'm going to wrap it up here. Can you give some advice to the people out there who are struggling to get their first deal under their belt? Wow, I mean, I, I thought I'm, I probably answered this throughout the four questions, but staying in the game is most important. Uh, the other thing that you need to constantly do that I do myself and Steph does as well. I know you do this stuff. It's constantly educate ourselves. I know tomorrow morning I'm waking up 5.30 in the morning to get to a training by 7 o'clock on marketing. And I'm going to be studying and I'm going to be taking copious notes. I'm going to be asking a lot of questions, trying to soak up as much information on marketing, online marketing that I can. And uh, also, I would say the folks that are struggling is the network. I remember when I first started stuff, I used to go out to RIA meetings just to get charged back up. I mean, yeah, we had months when we weren't doing any deals, but I knew if I went to the local RIA, whether it was in Northern Virginia or Baltimore or Washington, D.C., I can go and get around some people that are positive, that are thinking like-minded, that have been in the same situations as far as real estate that I, I I was currently in at that time. And and I went to get, you know, rejuvenated, like charged up. It's like Energizer Bunny. You go to these meetings, you, you're around people that are doing deals, they're talking positive. You know, if you're struggling, you need to get around some people that are making it happen because I'm telling you, it's going to rub off on you. It's definitely going to rub off on you. So, Steph, I'm going to wrap it up. I know I've been talking your head off. Hopefully, this was uh, all of the I answered all your questions. I look forward to seeing you again down in Tampa. I'll be there very soon. And we got to bring you up to Baltimore. And keep doing what you're doing, Steph. All you flip these wholesalers out here, you know, keep flipping these houses. Keep learning from Steph. 
I have, and uh, I plan on uh, shooting a lot more of these videos. We got to do it again, Steph. Take care. Bye.